this is Eva with Eva LaVey Arts and today I'm going to be making a deconstructed art journal page which is an 8x8 eight eight folded to a 4x8 page. I'm going to go ahead and start by um, putting on some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Ocean and then I decided that wasn't quite bright enough for me so I used the Adirondack Color Wash in Sailboat Blue and made a mess and cleaned that up with the other side. I'm using this stencil here um, to create some grass with the Distress Stain and Peeled Paint. And then I took some De La Rowney FW Acrylic Artists ink in fluorescent blue to create some drippage because we all love drippage, don't we? And then I'm just going to dry that. And then I wanted to add some texture, so I took some golden gesso and my palette knife and just kind of smeared that on there. And give it a quick dry. Next, I decided to add a tree, so I'm using my Neocolor 2s. So, um, brown to create the tree. Color it in with some various browns and then outlined it in black using some water here to activate it. La -da -da. And then I'm stamping this birdie in there. And I'm sorry, I don't know what the names of these stamp sets are. Um, I take them out of the packaging and put them in this little bin that I have. So I, I really don't keep track of the names of these things. <laughs> I'm using some... PBO Studio Acrylics, uh, Iridescent Green Yellow, and a little bit of uh, Diane Rebley's uh, Distress Paints and Cut Grass, or the Dilusions paint, sorry. Create my leaves with the fan brush, and then going back over the birdie here to add some color with the Neocolor 2s. And then what you, I'm not sure, my video cut out, so you just missed me stamping these flowers and adding some color with the De La Rana acrylic uh, inks in fluorescent pink and red and orange on the flowers. And then I decided that birdie wasn't quite dark enough, so I'm just um, taking my pen here and adding that detail back. Make sure that your ink and paint is nice and dry before you do this, or you might ruin your pen. And again, going in with the uh, PBO's Iridescent Green Yellow and Dilutions Paint and Cut Grass to add some more leaves, because I just wanted to make sure my tree was nice and thick, full. Give that a nice dry. And then once that's dry, I took these rub-ons from Tim Holtz that I've had for quite a while and decided to add some words and butterflies here and there. I'm sorry, not completely on camera here. I really need to get better at that. Okay, so next I'm going to take these cute little birdies that came from a calendar of uh, Coastal Bend, which is where I'm from in South Texas. And so these little birdies are actually 
um, native to this area and I'm sorry I can't tell you the names of these birds <laughs> they were on the calendar but I'm recording this voice voice over um, post-production and I don't recall what the names of the birds were <laughs> Um, so I just stuck it on there with some matte medium after I fussy cut it and uh, used my ruler there and uh, my X-Acto to take the edge off and then doing the same thing with these little birdies on the other side. I know one of them's a hummingbird. Beyond that, I have no clue. Then adding some uh, PBO Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Green to the background. And I'll add those little birdies on here in a sec with the matte medium as well. Silly me realized I hadn't completely cut out that bird, so I had to pull his little wings up and finish cutting his wings. Next, I'll be taking some stamps and stamping some flowers and a little branch for that birdie to sit on with some flowers as well. I didn't get a really clean stamp so um, image when I stamped it so I'm just taking my pen here and going in and filling in some areas that didn't get stamped and then I'm going to paint in that flower with the uh, PBO iridescent violet blue and the round brush I'll be taking my Stabilo pencil and outlining these little birdies just to help them stand out a little more. Activate that ink with uh, just some water. take my pen and go over the lines on these flowers again just to help them have some more definition and detail. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on here and it does not come out great at all. I don't like it, so I decide to just take my baby wipe real quick and wipe that off. And instead, I decide to um, create a little sign with this um, background paper, uh, pattern paper. Just cut it out and then take some watered down gesso to kind of take the color back a little bit so it'll be easier to write on. Or it'll stand out better anyway. If you can read it. Stick it on with some matte medium. And then I decided it wasn't quite light enough, so I took some uh, Dilutions white linen paint, 
my finger. Oh, and see, this is what happens whenever you leave wet paint on your surface. You kind of make a mess and have to go in there and clean it up. So yeah, I'm just going to add a little more white with my finger. And then clean up those areas that I've messed up before. And then I'm just going to use up the rest of that white paint to cre um, by creating a white border. Uh, on this side of the spread. And it wasn't quite white enough with my finger, so I'm just using a brush here. the cinnamon in the earth has music for those who listen thought that was sweet I'm taking my pen and outlining the sign here and then I add a little signpost with uh, some tick marks for shading then I'm picking my gelato in black and rubbing that with my finger to give that a nice little frame. And next on the inside of the spread, I decide I want to go ahead and add some more detail. So I take my pen and draw in some cute little leaves. And you'll want to make sure that your paint is nice and dry or you might actually mess up your pen. Uh, I noticed there were some areas that were a little bit wet and I had to be real careful about not messing up my pen. decided I wanted to clean up this area that a few letters had kind of rubbed off and then I'm done so you'll see here post-production I went in and added some more words to the background in the top of this page with the Tim Holtz rub-ons that I had and here's a look at the inside I like what I like the way it came out um, be pleased with it I hope you like it too. If you enjoyed what you saw today, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. I'll see you again soon. Take care.